Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you why is my Shopify store not loading and how to fix this. So if you're interested, let's get started. So how do you actually fix this issue? So there's a few things that you can do here to fix this issue. So one of the first things that you can do here is checking your settings and your plan. So go to Shopify.com, log in into your account and open up your admin dashboard here and we want to go to the settings at the bottom left. Now under settings, what we need to do is we need to go to the plan section here and in the plan section, make sure that you actually have an ongoing plan installed or have into your account. Now, if you don't have a plan in your account, this is probably the reason why you are having this issue. So make sure that you properly set up your plan here and your payment methods to ensure that your shop is currently active. Now, in this case, if you already have a plan and you're still having this issue, there's other things that you could check here just to make sure that it's going to work. Now, one of the other things that you do here is you need to go to online store and you need to go to preferences. Now their preferences, just scroll down a bit until you see this section here that says password protection. Now in this case, it's going to say restrict access to visitors with the password. Now in this case, you could go ahead and restrict their access or disable this one just to ensure that they will be able to see the website when you actually disable the setting here. Because when you actually add a password here, they will only be able to visit the website if they have the following passwords. Now in this case, uh, how do we actually uh, fix this issue if that doesn't work? Well, another thing that you can do here is you have to ensure that the applications that you installed into your shop are actually compatible. Now, sometimes when you actually install uh, Teams or even applications, sometimes this would actually affect your website in general. And sometimes uninstalling applications or extensions into your Shopify could actually work or solve this issue. Now, what we need to do here is we need to go to our settings here. And from here, you need to go to apps and sales channel. And from here, look for the application that you recently installed because that is most likely the reason why you are having this issue. Now, in this case, once you uninstall that application, check if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So from here on, if you still want to use that application, you might need to look into further what are the applications that are actually contradicting each other just to make sure that this will work in the future. Or you could go ahead and find a, a different application or uh, extension or application in Shopify that does the same thing. But that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Info. Thank you for watching.